gentle people. I got home from the food pantry. And the other one this week, today is Wednesday. And I wanted to show you what I got from there because I'll be adding it to the other stuff that I took pictures of before. And, you know, putting stuff all together so I can actually make meals for my family. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so this is what we got. This is the basic box here. Um, there's some breakfast bread, some cereal. They have these huge boxes of these Fruit Loops. So they, they took one out and one out. And it was um, two per box, two per box. So it's a family size. Honey roasted peanuts, pork rinds, which I think my husband will be happy about. Some Zatarans, and I checked the ingredients. There's no meat products in here, so yay, I can eat it. <laughs> Rutabagas, juice. See, all those up to the juice is, is pretty much extras because that isn't something we would normally have. The rest of this, I believe, yeah, I believe the rest of this is USDA. All that dry milk. Chicken. Two pounds of Great Northern beans. That's 90, what, 908 grams. Two boxes of mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. <laughs> Salmon, which we haven't had in a very long time. Oh, there's another extra tomatoes and okra. <laughs> that leads me to a little story. I used to have to, I, I used to take my son to college in a different town and I would buy the microwavable bags of rice and sometimes flavored rice and add this to it. And then I add a can of beans and the two of us would split that and eat it. And we were just full every time and we didn't have to use the microwave or anything we just dumped it in there it always worked out anyway on to the next carrots this is new too we haven't been getting those peas spinach loves spinach tamales we never ever have those ever crushed tomatoes We've only had those the past two times, and I think we're about to run out. 15 ounces of sliced potatoes and the 10 and a half ounce of vegetarian vegetable soup. Now, like I said, that's good for uh, casseroles and a base for other soups. It's a good way to get your veggies in, guys. It may not taste all that great, but I just add some tomato paste. <laughs> now, let's see. Pumpernickel bread. Round. I already got the breakfast bread out. The meat they gave us meat. They gave us meat. Okay, this will make my husband happy. Also, bacon, applewood, twenty two ounce, and twelve ounce of double stick bacon. My goodness, he's gonna get spoiled. Wings is definitely gonna get spoiled. Oh. One of my friends told me that you put um, baking soda, baking soda, yeah, baking soda over the top of this when you cook it, and it doesn't get that rubbery texture that wings sometimes get when you cook them. But of course, that has to be thought out first. Everything's frozen. Ground beef, and I'm not wasting it this time, guys. I'm actually gonna gonna use it this time. More ground beef, very nice. Very nice. We never, ever get this much. <laughs> this is really, really good stuff, guys. And chicken wings. Yes, chicken drums, drumsticks. Chicken wings. Now, let's see. We've got <clears throat> greens. I love greens. Yum, yum. There's two packs of greens. I'm getting it. In the bag here. Okay. There's another two bunches of greens. This collard greens, y'all. Yeah. Need those for breakfast, supper, and lunch. <laughs> All the time. Um, 
some feminine products. Feminine products. This is organic, which I can't afford. Grapes. I had the opportunity to get these at the other food pantry I went to on Monday, and I forgot them. So, yay! And for mommy, um, some plant-based chicken cutlet, because I can't find chicken that tastes like chicken. It's the texture. It always ends up tasting like mush. But I'm willing to try another one. I'll give it another shot. And for my eldest son, meal for one, because he really likes these kinds of things. And I honestly can't afford that because that's $7.50. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Now, these boxes, i got, I got to show you this. We never, ever, ever get milk without milk. <laughs> Half gallons. I've got one, two, three, four. And what would that be? Plus nine. Thirteen gallons of milk. Yeah, I'm going to be sharing that out. I'm going to be freezing some. Definitely. But it's only because we ran out of time. Because if we were open just a little bit longer, which then I wouldn't be able to do it because I have somewhere else to get to, um, then we could have given away some more milk. But as it was, it worked out. Everybody that came in got a lot of milk, a lot of milk. And because we were lucky enough to get it in, but we, we can't save it for the next time. See, we can't. We can't freeze it because we can't open it and take some out. You have to take a little bit out in order to freeze it so it doesn't burst in the freezer. Uh, <laughs> I learned that when I was on Wick, when I had the babies. So this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to share this out. It's a really, really big, my goodness, really big haul today. And, <laughs> oh, I didn't get any sweets this time, which is okay, because I really need to back off the sweets, y'all. But I like sugar. But I did. They opened a box of donuts up here, because there were four in the pack, so I took one home. Because I didn't want to eat it, because my hands were dirty from grabbing cans and putting them in the boxes. So, come home get some actual coffee, sit down with my donut, and it's, it's, what time is it, 10.37, so I'm going to sit down, do this, put the food away, and get cleaned up for my meeting, because I have a meeting with my ladies' church group. I'm Lutheran, in case y'all are wondering. Yes, we are down here, Missouri Synod. So, um, I think that's it. I made a meal plan out of the other stuff I got for Monday, but I'm going to add this to it because I've already used, let's see, the burgers. I think I have one left that's cooked up in there. My husband cooked them because he knows I can't stand the smell of cooking meat. <laughs> He's so sweet to me. And um, what else did we use? I ate a bag of popcorn for supper one night. So that was the other thing gone. And, well, I can't think of what else, but I'll show you later. I'll show you on, on written on paper. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. There's some mold on the bacon. Well, <laughs> maybe I can cut it out. I don't know. I, I don't know if they, see, these are donations from the stores. I don't know if they froze it right away or left it to mold and just because it's not sealed, you see, it's not vacuum sealed, but that's how we get them. You know, that's why it's given to us because they're not, they're no longer vacuum sealed. So they're more prone to getting freezer burnt. So when you get meat from the food pantry, you got to use it right away. That one, that one with the mold, I'm not sure about. I can try to cut it out this way, but I'm really iffy about it now. I'm so happy about that, too. 
We'll see. Okay, just wanted to share. Bye. And here we go. There is something so satisfying about watching food cook. Just making a little brunch because we haven't had breakfast. It's Monday morning. Oh, that looks good. Some of these aren't quite done because they will slice them a little thicker. Some of these are... And I have to do this in batches because my appetite is bigger than the pan. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that the kids will want something to eat too. That looks good. I'm going to get a couple of these onto some plates and fry up the rest of the potatoes. I sliced a few of them a little bit differently. So we have some really thin ones. <laughs> I cooked up quickly. Like these. How yum. And when I sliced a little bit thicker ones, they need a little bit longer. But in the meantime, I can throw these other guys on here. So pretty. And I cubed some just because I felt like it. You know, when you get to the end of the potato and it's not going to come out evenly. So then you end up with these guys, which I happen to like. But um, <laughs> it just looks odd. I'm going to get some more plates and get everybody's going and fry up some eggs. Because that's what I have time to do today. I have time to cook. I haven't had time to cook all weekend. And I don't usually film on the weekend because my husband is always home and TV is always on. And when the TV is on, he wants me to sit and watch with him, which is very sweet. But it leaves me without time to do anything else. Except my cross stitch, which I love. So let me get this finished up and I'll show you the end result. Okay, bye. So this is supper. I added some chopped garlic, um, the dried kind, and in lieu of the pumpernickel bread, I made some corn muffins because, well, it just goes better with beans, I think. And I'm going to use the pumpernickel for lunch tomorrow. Um, still have some cucumber left, so that's going to be a really nice little sandwich. Kind of like a tea sandwich. And the rest of the garlic, the, sorry, the cornbread is in here. Hi. <laughs> we always confuse it with cake, but it just looks so pretty. And I think we can have that for breakfast tomorrow too. Oh, I didn't think of corn cakes. You know what? That's okay. It's going to be a nice little change anyway. We've 
eaten through all of the cereal. It's been two weeks since we started this. And I have, let me show you, I have left a still one and a half bags of Great Northern Beans, the giant zucchinis in the fridge, butternut squash. I don't know how many of those oatmeal. I bought two of these from Dollar Tree, so I added that to my little my little haul, but um, I haven't had to get into them yet. Still have spinach, the salmon, potatoes, two of the soup, vegetable soup, another potato, that's two potatoes, the peas, one, two chicken, still, let's see, um, I haven't actually gotten into this bag of dried milk, but that's because I'm using up an older one that I had gotten from a previous food pantry haul. Oh, and I have one mac and cheese left from the two boxes of the two different food pantries. And one, two, three, four, five oatmeal, six oatmeal. Oh, I really got to get on those. The popcorn and the cake. Now, what I did actually was make a different cake. My daughter made a different cake for us. So we have had dessert. <laughs> And uh, let's see, I have about a week's worth left of meal plan um, that I think I can probably go ahead and finish off. But I'm going to be totally honest with you, my gentle people. I always I try to be honest because it's just not worth the mental stress of lying. Um, we took a couple of days off and... I didn't, I did three, three different meals that I can remember right off hand that did not use the food pantry items. And that was, let's see, one was a takeout pizza. One was takeout from Burger King. And <laughs> I got to stop doing that. And one was a uh, pickup pizza from, from Aldi. Well, one pizza serves us all. So it's not horrible. But it's not really good for the wallet to keep doing that. You know what I mean? So, um, we're going to try to do better. <laughs> and I will type in, when I finish this video, I'll type in at the, the top um, the things I have for lunches and suppers, which is mainly what I concentrated on. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Good morning, my gentle people. I just got back from the doctor, and excuse the mess. I did clean, but then I cooked again, so <laughs> I'm making up some fried rice. I had made some rice up ahead of time, chopped a little quarter of an onion, half of a green pepper that was starting to go bye-bye in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I really got to watch that. The next time I buy them, I think I'll just freeze them immediately. This is what we have left. Well, I guess it was a quarter of a green pepper. See, it's kind of sad, but it's good for cooking. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Good evening, gentle people. I know it's awfully dark in here. I'm just making some supper. And, whoops, I had to turn down the soup because it's about to be uh, <laughs> burnt soup. My husband's tooth is bothering him, so I have to take care of him. Um, make something soft, he said. So, it's soup tonight. I went to the food pantry today and while volunteering I got a box and I don't have very much left from the other two boxes it's been three weeks I'll show you what I have left here okay so I have one bag of beans left I've gone through the other bag this is actually the other bag but I used in its place bags that I had here at home, which equal the same thing. Um, same story for the milk. I used some other dry milk that I had at home. Plus, you all remember that um, 13 half gallons of milk? Yeah, I went through those. There's three of the oatmeal left. I think I started out with eight. I still have butternut squash. I still have that giant zucchini. I still have two bunches of the greens. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I haven't got around to them yet. There's still the pink salmon. There's, I bought two of these uh, cans of crushed tomatoes at Dollar Tree. So I'm using one of those tonight, and I have one left in this box. And I have the box of popcorn and the box of cake mix. Like I said, I already used one of the other cake mixes I had at home. Well, my daughter did. She, she cooked. This is the supper for tonight. I showed you a picture of that. I used one of my vegetable bouillon, one can of vegetable soup, one can of tomatoes, and a can of spinach, and some of the beans that I had left cooked up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's uh, that's everything for this. Yeah. Oh no. I had two of the cans of potatoes left still. Isn't that crazy? Okay, well, I guess that's it for this one. Um, we don't have a whole lot left. And this is the only, um, I made a mess, the only supper left from these two boxes. And it's been three weeks. Let me show you the state of my ref refrigerator. Excuse me. I used the three chub of the ground beef and both of the things of chicken, the chicken wings and the chicken legs. I have one grapes up because I went shopping. I have yogurt. I have sour cream. Sour cream's a little watery, but I think it was too close to the back of the fridge, which makes it frozen. Um, yuck. So what do we have here? The raclette. That was free from the pantry. The eggs. I don't know if y'all remember. I had something like nine dozen eggs. I now have four eggs. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I managed to use them. Oh, let's see. Most of that's gone. I have one left back there, uh, a couple in the freezers. That's it. Some hard-boiled eggs. They, these milks are from Grandma. Oh, no, I forgot about this other one I had left from from the box. Well, cheapers. And half of a quiche. That's Tony's, my husband's. That's the one cheese. There's the zucchini and the greens. Oh, this is all stuff I bought. Fruit from Grandma. I bought some cream cheese. Okay, I have had tofu in here for a long time. I used that. Honestly, not very much left, actually. There's like one or two sandwiches left of that. <laughs> and I bought some more mozzarella because I always seem to run out like to use them with the pitas as a kind of a pita pizza. 
I don't know. I just like it. Ignore the dirt. <laughs> this is condiments and ghee, which I have to use up. I'm sorry, it's filthy. I have to clean. I know, I know. I have another thing of relish open because I couldn't find the other one that was in here. And ditto for the Thousand Island. There's some gravy in there that needs to use. Mayonnaise, at least I have that. I bought a new one, so this is this is what's left of the new one. <laughs> some jelly to go with the uh, peanut butter that I have in the pantry. And my husband bought some more soda. He keeps buying me soda. He's so sweet. But I only have one serving left of that, too. So, it's tomorrow morning. It's going to be coffee until I can get up to the store. <laughs> but I have to go to the bank tomorrow. So, coffee will be my breakfast, more than likely. Okay. And then, let's see. Chicken salad sandwich. What do we have left? That's it. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, Y'all have a great night. Bye.